Directional parameters were corrected, but the results still need verification. So, can the stability of the current anchor points be maintained? I've calibrated the orientation device of the space rift. As long as it's not overloaded, there shouldn't be a problem. Oh, greetings, Executor. We have successfully opened the dimensional passage to the Vera region. A squad from the Executor Order has been dispatched to investigate. The Vera region was under the jurisdiction of Hycros's District 7 back before the Cataclysm. A couple of years ago, the mission this time is to ask you to act as Shirley's guardian as you accompany her to the Vera region. Shirley is keen to find any trace of her brother. You could save yourself a heap- Ah, well, Shirley still isn't fully stable after all. We need someone we can trust to go with her. I know I really shouldn't trouble everyone with this, but I just worry about my brother so much. I heard through the grapevine that the Vera region is the home of the invasive creature called Grayspace Entities. They're a serious threat to the local ecology and human safety. We are currently in discussions with District 7 over how to cooperate in tackling the... Dr. Claire has already calibrated the space rift parameters, so you... Making such a long distance jump is no... E Director of the Silver Coast Research Station. Arkin Larson has been informed of your arrival. However, Technician Baru has detected a potential space time flux. To be on the safe side, I'd recommend. Rem I see. I'm afraid I can't give a clear answer to that right now, though Budu is actively collecting and. I hate not knowing how long I'll have to wait. Pepper, do you know how many executors were dispatched from District 9? Hmm, apart from the Mook Squad that was stationed here a couple of years ago, there is also Meryl, Zero, Huma, and Samir. Oh, and now you, of course. However, everyone's in this super important meeting in Mororia. I think they're discussing the best response to the Grayspace and Grayspace entity. Yep, they're Mororia's biggest problem at the moment. We have some questions, direct- What can I do for you? Ask away, and I'll do my best to answer. The reason for this space-time fluctuation has not been confirmed, but Baru is analyzing all the relevant parameters. It could be an unfortunate- Apart from that, 
a type of powerful gray space entity known as an abyssant has been found able to generate space-time fluctuations. While there, no one knows for certain when those terrifying creatures first appeared. Those enemies have a special ability to traverse space and are extremely... Nine years ago, the Meoria Council decided to relocate all inhabitants of the... Ve Five years ago, the Department of Science and Technology initiated a research project on the Grace... Dr. Eva, we have a situation. The spatial fluctuations are greatly intensifying. It's a temporal anomaly caused by a powerful abyss. This shouldn't be possible. Buru, report to HQ immediately and request support. I'm trying. The fluctuations are generating too much interference. We can't get a clear connection to headquarters. Keep trying. Security close blast doors. Power force field. Activate security droid. Okay. What happened? The cause of this space-time fluctuation is a rare, powerful abyssin. Get ready for Grey Space Entity's assault. But at present, we are unable to contact HQ or request external assistance. If they launch an all-out assault, it would be catastrophic for us. We'll help fend them off. Follow me. System warning. Red alert. Red alert. All non-combatants, please go to the nearest safe zone and remain there until further notice. Look over there. The abyss is symbiosis! We have to hurry! only repelled them temporarily. Buru's detected several unstable space-time rifts nearby, so this is far from over. Has communication with Meroria been restored? We still have no means of contacting Meroria headquarters. I can only hope that they noticed the space-time fluctuations over here and proactively sent the support. We don't have enough energy to maintain the force field for much longer. Pepper, you stay here and help defend the facility. I'm going to try to bust out of here with Shirley and go get help from headquarters. You sure that's a good idea? We don't have a lot of options. It's the best of a bad bunch. The all-terrain vehicle over there will get you across the desert in a flash. Be careful.
storm mode. Destination, Euphoria. information. information.
Hold formation.
you guys all right? I'm Lynn, from District 7. I suppose you could say it's still secure. Lynn, it seems that the- It was wounded, and shouldn't be able to attack us for the time being. Meryl, we'll leave the research station- Yeah. Follow me. Follow me, Ruby. to like little Mia, right? Of course I like Mia. Can we sit together? Sure. Get on board with her then. The gateway to Miroria is in the sky? In response to the Grayspace Entity's threat, the Miroria Security Bureau set up a huge defensive force field on the surface. Nothing's getting into the city from the ground. Right now, the only way in is via the Miroria Skyport. Miss Lynn? Mr. Cowell, do you know where Larson is, by any chance? The Archon is waiting at the Furnace Core site. I am here to welcome you. Allow me, Lieutenant Cowell, to welcome- <laughs> Hello, Mr. Cowell. Are you okay, Mia? Does she always speak like that? Mia's language module has a few errors, which makes her speak like that occasionally. We're all used to it, however. S -s Sorry for the t -t 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 trouble. Cowell, is Shelly's vacation over? Ms. Shelly? I believe she's still got two days, but there's a record showing she was urgently recalled to headquarters this morning. Something about helping with equipment. Oh? Seems we might be in luck. Shelly is Mororia's technical consultant. If you agree, maybe she could check over Mia and repair anything she can. I just hope she hasn't left headquarters yet. Follow me, please. Vera needs suppressors? The Tower of Fantasy here was severely damaged in the Cataclysm. Unable to provide steady Omnium, we had to give it up. Later on, one of our Archons came up with some tech that dramatically increases the body's resistance to Omnium radiation. Over the years, the levels of Omnium radiation have shown a marked decline in the Vera region. People no longer need to rely on various support devices to survive. That is the Vera Tower of Fantasy. All of Mororia is built around it. Is that... Lynn? Oh yes. She is quite the idol in many young Viren's eyes. She single-handedly defeated a powerful abyssum not that long ago. Ahead is the District 7 headquarters. Please, this way to Archon Larson.
Looking good, Lynn. Shelly, what are you doing here? No need to feign surprise. Cowell sent a message saying you were looking for me. I'd be long gone otherwise. Well then, I'm very grateful that you stuck around. Well, it was the acclaimed and admired Lynn requesting my help. How could I refuse? However, I'm technically still on vacation, so... If I have to work, how are you gonna make it up? Hmm. How about a VIP meal at Oasis? Well, the food over there is good, I'll grant you, but I still feel like... Ten meals. That should suffice for this month. Ha-ha! Then we have a deal! All right, so tell me what you need me to do. These are two guests from District 9. They have a smart servant, Mia, with a damaged language module. We were hoping you could take a look. Oh? A District 9 smart servant? Where? Mia, don't you like strawberry cream donuts? What about delicious cake? Or sweet pear pudding? Chocolate rolls? <laughs> Chocolate... rolls. Huh? Our little friend looks really happy. Miss Shelley. Do you really think you can repair Mia? Oh, yes, the language module. I can certainly take a look, though I've never seen such a model as Mia before. Allow me to conduct an initial examination first. Shelly is an outstanding mechanic. Mia is in totally safe hands. You two can follow me to Archon Larson. Don't worry. Go do what you gotta do. Welcome to you both. Archon Elric has already informed us about Zeke. If he really did come to the Vera region... Larson, could Zeke be trapped in the Abyssin Field? I've considered that my... Abyssin Field? Some powerful Abyssins can generate a localized space-time abnormally around themselves. A field through which they can roam around and reel. Follow me. samples in these cultivation tanks were taken from a defeated powerful abyssant. We call them Christomaxes, and they're crucial to the field ability of an abyssant. Each one has its own unique characteristics, so the field ability of each abyssant will likewise be different. These samples are priceless. By studying them, we can gain a deeper understanding of both abyssant biological traits and field abilities. Perhaps, one day, we too will be able to control space. Once a Christomax is removed from an Abyssin's body, however, they start to lose their bioactivity. These three samples have already lost their value for research, and we need some fresh samples to complete our study. Only the strongest, powerful Abyssins are able to form this special structure. And right now, we have no effective way of locating such Abyssins. Even if we could, defeating such a creature is no small task. Is there anything we can do to help? Archon Elric has provided us with advanced spatial monitoring technology, which Larson is currently working out how to use to monitor Abyssin activity. 
I will also put together a special force to round up and take out any detected abyss. I would like to invite you two to join us. The sooner we can complete our abyssant research, the sooner we can find clues about Zeke. Lynn, while I have every confidence in your work, our two guests are strangers here. Unfamiliar as they are with abyssants, be a little cautious in asking them to help with the hunt so quickly. Understood, Archon. You'll be responsible for the Executor and Shirley. Please ensure that suitable accommodation is found for them in Miroria. No need to worry. Everything's already arranged. After such a busy day, I'm sure you two must be tired. Let's go see how Mia's doing, and then I'll take you to your accommodation. problem. Maybe try something a bit more complex? Mia, try this. Shelly, Shirley, Shelly, Shirley, Shirley, Shelly, Shirley, Shelly, Shirley, Shirley. Come on, Shelly. That's too difficult. Hmm. Have you found a way to fix Mia's problem, Shelly? Even though I'm not particularly familiar with this model of smart servant, I reckon there can't be much of a difference with our smart droids. So it should be pretty simple. Just leave her to me and oh. Huh? No need to worry. I'll let you know immediately if there's any progress. I promise. environment and climate here yet? I hear that Asperia doesn't have such a vast desert. I'm just a bit surprised how you can sustain a huge city in such an arid desert. Mororia has a comprehensive resource recovery system. Allocations of food, water, and energy are all strictly regulated and are sufficient for the current population's needs. Twenty years ago, our scientists attempted to fashion a better environment for the people here through extensive geoengineering. They were this close to succeeding, before the appearance of the Abyssant derailed everything. Abyssants caused this inhospitable desert? Abyssants destroyed many ecological stations on the surface, forcing us to stop our terraforming project. Not just that, but many natural ecosystems were also damaged. The people here have been through a lot. The Mororia Archives preserves many historical records. It's definitely worth a visit, if you're interested. Well, that's lucky. As I'm curious to learn more about this place. Wanna come with me? Okay, let's go.
Here we are, the Mororia Archives. Are you not coming with us? I'm sorry, but I just received a message from Headquarter. You two go on ahead, once I've taken care of... These exhibits. I've never seen. Even though I have heard the heirs of Ida talk about the past many times, I hope that one day people's suffering ends. There's still a way to go. Yes, we have a lot to do. Do you still want to look around? All done? I saw so many different things. Considering that this- I heard Samir once say that your world has mountains and oceans, glaciers and snowfields. But for someone like me from Aurora, apart from all that steel and neon, there is only barren desert and stone. I hope there comes a day, when all of this is behind us, that I can visit Asperia and witness such beautiful scenery with my own eyes. It would be our honor to have you visit, Lynn. I'll take that as a formal invitation. No taking it back. Sure. That's settled. <laughs> 